What is the interest on 1500 rupees borrowed for 4 years at 10% per annum? Well, you know the formula for simple interest. That's PNR upon 100. The principal is 1500 times the number of years for which the money is borrowed is 4 years times 4 times the rate is 10 percent. So 10 upon 100. These two zeros and these two zeros get cancelled out. What we have is 150 times 4 and that's 600. So 600 is the interest. Option D is the correct answer. How much time will it take for an amount of rupees 450 to yield rupees 81 as interest at 4.5 percent per annum of simple interest? So we have the interest given that's 81. It is equal to the principal is 450. The number of years is is what that has been asked. So let it be n times the rate is 4.5. So 4.5 by 100. So this 0 get cancelled out. So we have 45 times n times, let us make this 45. So 45 by 10 times 10 to remove the decimal point. So 5 times 2 is 10, 5 times 9 is 45. Again here 5 times 9 is 45 and 5 times 2 is 10 and that's 81. Okay. So we have 2 times 2 is 4. So 81 times 4 by 9 times 9 is again 81 is equals to n. This 81 and this 81 gets cancelled out. What remains is 4. Therefore n is equals to 4 years. So the answer is option B. A man took a loan from a bank at the rate of 12% per annum simple interest. After 3 years he had to pay rupees 5400 interest only for the period. What is the principal amount borrowed by him? So you have been given the interest that's 5400. So 5400 is equals to PNR upon 100. The principal amount is what we have to find. Let that be P times the number of years or the time period is 3 years. So times 3 times the rate is given 12% per annum. So times 12 by 100. So therefore, P is equals to 5400 times 100 divided by 3 times 12. Now 6 times 9 is 54 and 6 times 2 is 12. And 3 times 300 is 900. So we have P is equals to 300 times 100 by 2. Right. And 300 by 2 is 150. So this is equals to 15,000 rupees. So the amount borrowed, that is the principal, is 15,000 rupees. So option C is the correct answer. What is the present worth of rupees 132 due in two years at 5% simple interest per annum? Well, this 132 rupees is actually the amount and the present worth will be the principal. Let us calculate the simple interest. Well, we know that amount is equals to principal plus the interest. So the interest will be amount minus principal. The amount is 132 minus let the principal be P. But interest is PNR upon 100. So we have P times the number of years is 2 times 2 times rate is 5 percent times 5 by 100 is equals to 132 minus P. So 2 times 50 is 100 and 5 times 10 is 50. So P is equals to 1320 minus 10 P. So therefore we have 10 P plus P that's 11 P is equals to 1320. Therefore, P is equals to 1320 by 11 and that is equals to 120. So 120 rupees is the present worth of this money, this amount.
So option C is the correct answer. A sum fetched a total simple interest of 4016.25 rupees at the rate of 9% per annum in 5 years. What is this sum? Well, this sum is the principal amount and you have been given the value of simple interest. That's 4016.25. So it is equals to PNR upon 100. P is, let it be P, the sum times n is 5 times the rate is 9 upon 100. So therefore p is equals to 4016.25 times 100 will be equals to the decimal point will be removed so 401625 by 5 times 9. Dividing the numerator by 5 you get 80325 and this 5 gets cancelled. So we have 80325 divided by 9 and that is equal to 8925. So the sum is 8925 rupees. So option D is the correct answer.